Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're back in variant eight, uh, back issues number eight, and we're going in with the same team that we have been going in with for the entire series. And we're finally here in the final quest, chapter three, quest number two, all right? And I kind of looked around a little bit here just so you guys can see the different defenders because really the easy path is going to depend on who you're bringing in and what nodes you really want to deal with okay so this first fight if you recall gives you the cross fight ability and this is the path that i'm going to be taking okay rising sun selectively special one and energize okay so you can read that but basically it's a balancing act, okay? Um, you're going to be gaining Furies, and you need to fire off heavy attacks before you get too many Furies, or else you're going to take a lot of damage in Degen. Uh, sometimes I don't like that node. It is easy, but I sometimes lose focus. And... What happens there is that I'll get like this tunnel vision and I'll just be fighting and the next thing I know I'm degening because I forgot to weave in a heavy attack um, or to keep track of those uh, furies. All right, now here we're going to uh, pick up a cross fight. I forgot which cross fight it is, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but look at the cross fights and choose a champion that's going to benefit from the crossfight, but just keep in mind you don't really need the crossfight. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I always uh, had to pause a little bit is that I didn't know what animations to deal with. So I'd be sitting here like, okay, ooh, okay, yeah, there we go, there we go. Now I know, now I know, you know. Um, I'm sure there's a chart by now. I didn't bother looking at it. Uh, that tells you, you know, what animations you're going to be dealing with for each one. Uh, so search that out if you're curious. If you're following this, then you should be able to tell just from uh, watching. All right, so this first fight is against Red Cyclops. Shout out to uh, Forgotten. <laughs> I can't believe he took his up to uh, rank five. Uh, but anyway... Um, Pretty simple, pretty easy fight. As you can see here, see those uh, Furies going up? And that's why I decided to bring her in, because I'm like, hey, um, I'm going to be doing heavy attacks anyway. Now, that time I didn't, and you see the D-Gen, but I figured that I could finish him off before the D-Gen finished me off. A uh, little dangerous, took a little bit more damage than I needed, but didn't really matter. Um, but if you have Domino, you can just do the heavy attacks and you're fine. Um, you might want to hit a little bit, get the Furies so you can do more damage, then do the heavy attack to reset it. That's up to you. Play it, you know, kind of how you feel comfortable. All right. So here I'm going in with a uh, hit monkey. There we go. We got rid of the, uh, debuffs. I'm at five Furies right now. Okay, and then here I do a heavy reset. Him. Okay, hit monkey doesn't have a ton of health, so I don't want to take a lot of degen. Now, the other uh, node is that energize. I don't really like energize, even though I chose um, this path because it makes me play at a different pace than I prefer, slows me down because I have to. Be careful not to push them to, you know, a special. But you'll notice that other node, especially special one, so I don't have to worry about a special two or three. So even with the Energize, doesn't really matter. So I could ignore it for the most part. All right, so that combination of nodes kind of canceled each other out. You will have to deal a lot more with the special one. Um, but other than that, you're good. Okay. Um, I just checked there to make sure that I was going on the right path 
Uh, that has happened to me where I went the wrong way, chose a different path. It wouldn't hurt a lot, but it destroys my sense of symmetry, you know? If I start on the path, I want to stay and finish that path. I don't want to start one path and then finish on a different path, you know? But I've done it. All right, so she caught me good. Um, it happens, especially when I haven't fought her for a little bit. That special one, you see how I was waiting there? In case she fired her special one off again. There we go, see? I know how to evade it, but sometimes, you know, if I'm, you know, just out of practice, I'll get hit. And as you saw, it did a lot of damage. And she flopped on down. I love how they do that. She's just like, uh, uh, whoopsie. <laughs> it just falls face down, too. That is just, yeah. Anyway. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Magneto. And I believe that's the last fight on the path before the boss. All right. So, uh, obviously, I don't really want to go in here with anyone that is metallic. And I don't always remember who has the hashtag metal, but I don't think any of them have hashtag metal. I don't think Hitmonkey or Domino or uh, Masafi have that. I could be wrong, all right? But anyway, you see there, I was hoping that that would finish him off, but you can't do that with Magneto. But we didn't lose that much health, so we're good. And I brought in double dominoes. I like having a domino in there twice like that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Yes, this is the final boss. And it is a Venom Pool. And um, <laughs> I was reading that. I was just like, yeah, that's that's Venom Pool. That's, that's Venom. That's for sure. All right. So Smorgasbord. Uh, rise to power. You can read this here. Uh, they have a chance to purify 100% chance. Okay. Every 30 seconds. You know, basically, it's another balancing act. They're going to gain a lot of these snack charges. You want them to get a lot of snack charges. Because once they have 10 or more, they'll get a degen. If they don't have 10 or more, they're going to get a regen. So there's a little bit of a, a balancing act. And you saw that we have to deal with what I don't like to deal with, which is Energize. And it's not specially special nothing this time. Okay, so I go in here with um, Hit Monkey, right? See the, the Smorgasbord charges? Look at him. He's got three. He's got four. Okay, so they're building up. Look at that, six. We're doing good. You want you want somebody that puts in a lot of debuffs. And he puts a debuff on him all the time. Okay? See how he's starting to uh, turtle up? All right, there we go. We got 11 now. Okay? So we're good. We're doing great. We're doing great at this point. See? He's starting to degen now. So instead of a regen, he got the degen. And now I just don't have the health. Look at this, man. I'm at 4%, so I'm just going in. I'm trying to go in, but look at He's getting a, a power gain buff. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at this. And done. I said, you know what? I'm not going to take a special three. Hit Monkey going out like a champ. He going out like a fighter, and that's what he did. So I'm like, okay, I got it. I got it. I see how this fight goes. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, we should be able to finish him off pretty quickly, right? So, basically, you want to put on as many debuffs as you can. Um, they're going to get the snack charges. Get him to more than 10, at least 10. And he'll be DJ. okay? So, now I'm just like, okay, we got this, we got this. Um, here we go. Unlucky, okay. Snack charge, cool. Bam, special one. I mean, a special two. And it does not take him out. You know why? He's purifying the debuffs. And I'm like, uh-oh. And I didn't have enough snack, and now he got a regen. See how that works? So I didn't get enough debuffs on him, and 
He got a power gain. Look at this. Boom, boom. And he got to a special three. So, I don't like Domino for this fight. Okay? As you can see, um, I did way better with Hitmonkey. Now, another champion that does very well is Masakri. He does extremely well on this fight. Uh, I think I kept messing up later on when I was using him, but he does beautifully for this fight. Um, so, uh, if I were you guys and you have the team I have, definitely bring on that Masakri for this fight, and he's going to be an MVP. But Hitmonkey can do the fight very well also. Now, just look at that. See, look at the look at his power gain. That's crazy. Look at this. I'm just like, are you kidding me? What kind of power gain is this, you know? And so I'm just like baiting out specials. And I'm not able to get um, the, uh, look at this, I'm in the corner now. And I'm just like, am I gonna have to take another? Look at this, he's got his regen again. Come on, yeah, here we go, here we go, bam, bam. Okay, that was lucky, okay? We were about to die again. Yeah, Domino, don't like her for this fight. Bring in your Masakris, bring in your Hit Monkeys, um, bring in your um, uh, Black Widow Deadly Origins. She would also rock that um, fight. Basically, a mercenary that does a lot of debuffs. Okay, as you can see, we finished it. All right, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for going through this entire series with me. I hope this helps you guys out when you're doing your completion run. All right? Take care, and you all have a blessed day.